the Sangamon County budget is in is in and there is some good news. They're working with about 2.7% more than they had last year. But the bad news, not everyone's going to be sharing in that increase. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard live at the Sangamon County Juvenile Detention Center. Kimberly, what are we dealing with here? Vince Marianne, about $350,000 less. Sangamon County officials say an increase in sales tax and income tax revenue has led the county as a whole to have more money. But less money from the state is forcing places like this to get creative. County's overall budget is $97.7 .7 million. It's up a little bit over 2% from prior years. That means many of the departments that rely on the county for funding are seeing more money. The circuit clerk office, animal control, and more than any other, the sheriff's department. So while they're, <coughs> they represent a little over 20% 20, 20 of the budget, uh, they represent about uh, probably more like uh, 40 or 50 percent of our increased costs. Money that will take care of the increasing jail population, also court security and deputies battling rising gas prices. And when you have, you know, deputies out there in squad cars 24-7 uh, patrolling uh, the 10th largest county in the state, they rack up some miles. But the state isn't racking up extra dough, leaving places like the Sangamon County Juvenile Center to press on with less. We might be using more electronic monitoring on juveniles instead of housing them in the detention center. Court Services Director Mike Torsha says it's not the county's fault they are getting shortchanged. We're at a point right now where the county can't continue to um, to continue to pick up that shortfall, so we've had to make um, some adjustments. Things like not accepting juveniles from other counties and taking on less juveniles, period. They're also not rehiring to fill positions previously held by retirees. Um, this year's budget does not have uh, any layoffs in it um, and no tax increases as well. Now this facility is hoping the state will come up with more funds in the future. Otherwise, they're going to have to undergo much more drastic changes. Live in Springfield, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20. Thanks, Kimberly. Sangamon County officials say even though they're working with more money, they are not back to where they were in fiscal year 2008. Fiscal year 2013 starts December 1st and runs through November 30th of next year.